they no longer print paper <laughs> it's too cumbersome you need so much paper you need so much ink you need the security vans you need the personnel to move it from place to place and so on too cumbersome they've created something called QE quantitative easing QE and so all that they need to do France cannot do it Germany cannot do it Italy cannot do it Britain cannot do it only the United States only the United States you you instruct the Federal Reserve Bank Obama instructs the Federal Reserve Bank I I may be wrong but I believe QE started with Obama I may be wrong I don't think it started with George Bush I may be wrong and the Federal Reserve will write a check that's all for seven trillion dollars I thought that seven trillion was seven million billion somebody sent me an email check your maths is wrong seven trillion is not seven million billion it's seven billion billion <laughs> that's what he said to me and the Federal Reserve will write that check and then send it to the banking system and the banking system is now conglomerating around few banks and they control all the rest when that check reaches the banking system it's not yet money no it's just a check but when Egypt now signs an agreement with the IMF for a loan of four billion dollars that's peanuts when Egypt, Egypt signs the legal document to repay now it is money not before <laughs> and so they are moving rapidly with quantitative easing to empower the banking system with a financial and monetary power unprecedented in history this is preparatory to the collapse 